Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors and welcome back to my light box. <laughs> We're looking at another Black Series Mandalorian and Grogu Deluxe Pack. Um, this is the third one. Technically I think it was the second but I got the second one. Anyway, this is the Avala 7 Mudhorn Encounter. That's what I would have called it. Mudhorn Encounter. With the artwork on the side of the box we have a different variation of Grogu. Um, we have seen that same body used with the uh, Moldo crease one. So he's reaching for an egg. And this one, his eyes are, are closed as he focuses on the force. We have his little pram. Little open pram, which is cool. That looks good. With Muddy Mando. Another slight variation on the original Mandalorian. This Still don't seem to have been able to get the helmet right. Um, just watch any of my previous Mandalorian reviews. I tend to go off on a tangent about them, so I'm not going to in this one. I'm just going to review what we've got here. So before we get started, let's crack it open and get all it, get it all together. All right, guys, here we are, out of the packaging. Let's run through the accessories. So we do come with Mando's blaster pistol once again. It's blaster pulse rifle. Once again, nice and cool. We do have a suga, a little egg, the mud horn egg, and a little lid. You look at that sweet, sweet Cadbury cream in there. So that's kind of cool. That's a nice accessory. I like that a lot. I think that's pretty damn good, to be honest. It doesn't sit up. It, yeah, it doesn't have the flat surface. But I guess you could just have him holding it, so that's fine. Uh, Grogu, let's take a look at little Grogu. Cute little guy using the force to lift the mud horn up in the air. So yeah, no articulation in the arms, just the hands and head. But yeah, you probably don't need any superposability with this one. So we'll get a look at the prem. Nicely done. No sort of front case or the lid, I guess. But yeah, still looks nice. Comes on a pretty cool little clear base. That's not tipping over at any point. And he will sit in there very nicely, so. That's that. Now let's take a look at Mando. So obviously he's covered in mud. The difference with this is he, from the first Mandalorian we had, is he has since upgraded his shoulder pauldron. Um, and I had actually already done that with mine. <laughs> so I updated mine to have that pauldron as opposed to the Shore Trooper armor. Um, but that's all right. The rest of the figure is exactly the same, uh, except for the chest piece, which has been molded to be sort of ruined and wrecked and covered in crap. So, which is nice. It actually looks pretty good. Um, a little bit more weathering and detail there would be nice, but that's okay. I've seen a lot of people go and actually, you know, add some texture to this figure with with some sort of mud, um, fake sand, etc. You know, just really muck it up a little bit because this is literally just like a, uh, you know, looks like someone's just taken a can of brown spray paint and just just sort of misted it over parts of the figure, which is fair, you know, it's it's what it is. Dirty bits on the cape. All nice and clean on the end, on the back side. Probably could have done with a little bit of misting there, but that's okay. <laughs> Not a big deal. The cape was covering it. But yeah, the rest of the figure is reasonably well done. Nicely painted and sculpted as we've seen. Now the helmet isn't as bad as I thought it was. It's still not great. But, uh, you know, it works. I'll probably end up gluing that cape down like I have done with other Mando figures just so it just sits there. Because I don't like that. It should have been soft goods all along, Hasbro. But if I can get that to sort of sit in one place. In a nice sort of comfortable pose. That'll look a lot better. So I will do that at some point. But, yeah, I think that's all the versions of Mandalorian up to this point so yeah reasonably quick review because it's just a mandalorian with some more brown paint 
and a suga, which we're going to put in there. And we're going to put his gun in there, and we're going to put his rifle in there, and everything's going to sit in the pram. Look at that. It's just hanging there. Just hanging out. All right, folks. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this review. I know it was pretty brief, but uh, we've seen this figure a bunch of times already. Um, and yeah, I'm glad to have it in the collection. If anything, just to have the sweet, sweet Suga. Look at it. Look at it. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Got some more reviews coming. Always more content. Um, just check out what I've done. Been here for nearly 12 years, so <laughs> it's uh, it's all fun and games. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you. Sugar. So